Happy Thanksgiving, you degenerates. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all are not degenerates. Y'all are great people, I hope. Um, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving. Hope you're all eating some turkey or duck or chicken or turducken or, you know, get your stuffing, your gravy, you know, your mashed potatoes, your mac and cheese, your collard greens, you know, all, all, all that stuff. All that Thanksgiving food. I hate Thanksgiving food, but, you know, it is what it is. We have a trio of games in about 30 minutes or so. So, that's how you know I'm late on this. Uh, first things first, Buffalo is taking on Detroit in the early Thanksgiving game. You know, the Lions have been improving. they got to take on Josh Allen and the Bills. It's going to be a fun one there. The Cowboys are taking on the Giants, you know. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, again, the Cowboys' weakness has been run defense. They got Saquon Barkley. The Giants do. Um, but the Giants, they did not look good last week. You know, Daniel Jones, the company, just could not get anything going against the Lions. And the Cowboys, you know, with Dak and Tony Pollard and everybody just feasting and eating, you know, it was interesting to see the Cowboys do that. And they... I do it again. You know, because this is a Giants team that is banged up a little bit. They've been banged up, and, you know, they're going to have to play without some guys. So we'll see how the Giants can do against the Tough Cowboys team. It's also the Patriots and the Vikings to close out the night. And now it's, um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know. Uh, this Patriots team has relied on its defense and special teams to win games instead of Mac Jones. And then the Vikings on the other hand, they they are they are they gotta be feeling themselves after you know what happened to them against the Cowboys because they got demolished and they lost you know some guys you know in this game. You know, because I mean the they're, they're banged up. You know, Kirk Cousins is alright. It looks like he'll be okay to go. But I mean, it's something. When you get destroyed like that, you know, it's really something. And then there's the games on Sunday. I mean, come on. First things first, we got the Broncos, the Panthers. I mean, why? Who is subjecting ourselves to this? Sam Darnold is going to get the start in this game against Russell Wilson and. You know, the Broncos. Um, now, the Broncos, you know, they just, they're just horrible. Just absolutely horrible. Like, I don't know why this team, you know, continues to be the way they've been. But here they are. The Panthers, they're just trying to get something going. Just trying to get something. Buccaneers are taking on the Browns, you know. It, it's it's going to be something to see if that win in Germany helps the Buccaneers turn their season around, you know, um, you know, Chris Godwin, he seems like he's, you know, doing things again, Tom Brady looking like he's energized yet again, the Browns are a team that have been, you know, they've been something this year, they've been something so far this year, and we'll see if they can keep, you know, some kind of momentum up, you know, and try to stop the Bucks. There's also the Ravens and the Jags, you know. Mm. It, it's it's interesting, you know. You know, Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen on this defense. And I don't know, you know, the Jags with Trevor Lawrence and company, they've been they've been alright this year. They haven't been terrible, but they've been alright, you know. And the Ravens, they somehow are seven and three. Again, this is the same team that, you know, has had some games where it's like, are you sure the Ravens are playing? Because who is this? And that's just how it's been for me this year with the Ravens. Like, I swear I've seen like one or two Ravens games all year. And this is another one I don't think I'm going to be looking at. And now, the Texans continue their tank against the Dolphins. I mean, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Tua, they're on fire right now. That team is on fire. Like, do you really expect the do you really expect the Texans to beat the Dolphins? Come on, I don't. I don't think anybody does. 
Jets Bears is going to be interesting. It looks like Mike White will be starting. And he's going to take on a Justin Fields who has just been playing lights out the past few weeks. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's also the potential that Fields is hurt. And we could be looking at Trevor Sibian. You know, it looks like he's it looks like he should be okay. But again, you know, the Jets defense is on another level, even though they benched Zach Wilson from Mike White. Uh Titans Bengals really the best game up the slate. You know, Jamar Chase could be coming back to help Joe Burrow out. And, you know, Ryan Tannehill's finally getting some help, you know, from, from Travion Burks. And I'm at, I'm at to say Tra I'm at to say Traylon Burks. Um, and, and Robert Woods, you know, they're finally getting some help out there. Of course, Derek Henry's still out there beasting and feasting. Joe Mixon on the other side for the Bengals, beasting and feasting. Um, easily the best game of the week on Sunday. And it's one that, you know, I think I'm going to be sitting here watching because, I mean, my goodness, man. Have you seen these two teams? They, they, they're they good. Inconsistent, but good. And that's what the NFL has been this year. Inconsistent, but good to look at. It's also the Commanders and the Falcons. This is going to be a good one, you know. Um, the Marcus Mariota and company, you know, um... They, they've been running the ball a lot, which bodes well for the Washington Commanders. Bodes well for them because they can stop the run, you know. And, and, you know, this one could end up being a little bit weird because the Falcons have given us some weird results this year and the Commanders have surprised a lot of people. Again, I think the race for that last wild card spot between the NFC East teams is going to be something because, I mean, every NFC East team is going to be chasing something. Meanwhile, the Cardinals and the Chargers, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what Cliff Kingsbury is doing out here because, I mean, this Cardinals team is absolutely terrible. You know, Justin Herbert, you know, he's finally looking like himself. He's finally looking like the guy we've been seeing. After losing again to the Chiefs, though, you know, he's looking like himself. And he's found some guys that have been able to play some good football for him, like Austin Eckler, you know. And, I mean, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, if the Cardinals can even try to make this a game worth watching, but I doubt it. The Seahawks are also back from Germany after losing. And they're taking on a Raiders team that is, you know, you know, bad on defense. Yeah, Max Crosby has been the only highlight the past few weeks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The Seahawks, they, they might, you might see Geno Smith throwing up bombs to Tyler Lockett all day long. And if that ain't going to work, hell, give him Kenneth Walker. You know, it, it's it's going to be something in Vegas. And I think we're going to see a game flexed out soon involving Vegas, which is weird, which will affect the bowl games, which is wild. Uh, but that's neither here nor there right now. It's also the Chiefs and the Rams. Again, I don't know why this is even, you know, I don't even know why this is a... Uh, game of the week type material. It's not. The Rams are terrible, man. Matthew Stafford, it looks like he may or may not start, and that means Bryce Perkins might start at quarterback. You know, it, it's weird, because, I mean, the Rams, the Rams have just been on a downward spiral I, that I've never, ever seen from a Super Bowl champion like this. I mean, Jalen Ramsey's been getting cooked. Rams defense has not been completely there, you know. Like Aaron Donald looks like he's just not existed at this point. And it, it's wild. Like you know who you know who's across the on the other side of the field, right? Patrick Mahomes. And this man has been cooking 
defenses all season long, like he has been for years now. And this one may or may not be a good game. It depends all on if the Rams want to show up. You know, because, I mean, it looks like Stafford's not going to start regardless. So, it is what it is. Um... 49ers, on the other hand, they're also playing the Saints, and I mean, I mean, aside from Chris Olave, that's pretty much it. Saints are also banged up, hurt, like a lot of teams are at the middle of the season, so I, I, I genuinely do not know what's going to happen here, you know? Um, 49ers have been on another level lately with all these pieces that they have and I think it will continue in this game and then Sunday night again don't know why this is a Sunday night game Aaron Rodgers is you know he's still out there trying to get the Packers to do something I mean at least the Eagles are they they aren't invincible they they have lost the game you know but the Packers are still not that good it's really, really sad that they're not. You know, Eagles still have a great defense, still have a great offense that can go. So it, it comes down to the trenches in this game. And then the Steelers and the Colts are on Monday night. Mm, I don't know. I guess focus on Najee Harris and Jonathan Taylor in this one. But I don't, I don't, I don't care for this game at all. Like both these teams are not good, and we know they're not good. Somebody's going to need a win, you know. Steelers trying to keep pace in the, AFC, in the AFC North, and the Colts are trying to keep pace in the AFC South. But honestly, who cares? I don't think either of these teams are playoff worthy regardless, though. So, it is what it is there. In any case, hope you all enjoy the rest of y'all's Thanksgiving. I'm going to go get, get this uploaded real quick, and I'll see you all later on, you know, probably tomorrow at some point so take care see you tomorrow good night everybody and good day